The Mac VU360 is the newest model of EKG machine from GE. Unlike the previous model, it is a touchscreen and includes a patient barcode scanner. The mechanics of performing an EKG have not changed with this machine. You still place the electrodes in the same locations as you would with any other machine. But navigating the computer system has become much simpler. This video will explain how to use the machine and navigate the menus to perform an EKG on a patient at St. Mary Mercy Hospital. Lead placement will be discussed in a separate video. The band scanner and cam unit are held in their individual holsters attached to the rear of the machine. They should be returned to these positions after use. The cam unit should always be stored with the lead wires facing down. It is designed this way to minimize damage to the wires when they are stored upright, forcing them to bend constantly. The cam unit also shows where to place the electrodes on the patient. Each of the white dots not only represents an electrode placement, but also will light green when the lead is receiving good data, and it will flash red if the lead is not receiving good data. When the screen is tilted down, the machine is put into standby mode to save battery. The screen is turned off in this position. When it is tilted up, the screen will turn on. If it doesn't, the machine is turned off, and you can turn it on with the power button on the keyboard. To begin, use the scanner to scan your patient's wristband. All the patient's data will populate on the screen. On the right side of the screen, you will see all active orders for EKGs for this patient. Verify that the correct order is selected. Then, using the touch screen, scroll the data fields until you find the technician field. Type your first initial last name into this field. This is a mandatory field. If it is not completed, the EKG cannot be transmitted back to the electronic medical record and will remain on this machine until that field is completed. After filling in your name, press save. If your leads are all connected correctly, you will see a green circle on the bottom right of the screen. However, if you see red or yellow, one or possibly multiple leads are not giving good data and need to be addressed, possibly repositioned or reattached. You can pull up a map of the leads on the screen by pressing the up arrow labeled Hookup Advisor. To close Hookup Advisor, push the down arrow above the map. Leads that flash red need to be addressed, probably repositioned or reattached. In this example, L1 and L6 are flashing red. As they are corrected, their dots change to green. Once all leads have a good green feed to the machine, the VU360 will begin to read the EKG. It takes 10 seconds of good data to supply a full EKG. This is represented by the green and red bar at the bottom of the screen. Once you have 10 seconds of data, the circle changes to green. You can now capture your EKG by pressing the EKG button on the screen. There is also an EKG button on the keyboard that will function the same. You will be able to visualize the EKG and decide if it is good enough, or if you want to reject it and take another. If you choose Accept, the EKG will be transmitted back to the Muse and Epic systems, and a copy will be printed from the machine. You also have the option of performing the EKG using only the CAM unit. The lights will flash red if the leads need corrected. Once they are all green, push the EKG button on the bottom left. You will need to look at the screen to accept or reject the EKG, but then it can be transmitted and printed. By using the CAM unit in this way, you could be able to perform an EKG on a patient by keeping the VU360 unit safely in the hallway. This can be utilized for patients in isolation. The VU360 can also be used to complete a 15-lead EKG, and that will be explained in a separate video.